proud man, kingly in nature, but not in fact. A protector of holy wisdom. Sigurd, shall we then, Eivor, to Norway, and well beyond? To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! So strange. Little has changed, but it feels unfamiliar. A few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Pick up from there. This is Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it, to think it even. And our father, his fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Hold on, good skell. Alrek starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Make for the dark. We can continue. Firma, bruta, equa. Aid me. Be my eyes. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby, a sad hall where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed, not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them, without care. You are a chipper, brother. Go, Sunan. That poor soaker, he never leaves. From sunup to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just once, I'd have him take a bath. 
He was a king once, that one. You'd never know by the way he sulks. I'll take on all comers! <laughs> We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor. By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. There was nothing sensible about your betrayal. Sigurd should have been king. You robbed him of that. Who did I betray? A son who was never home? A selfish boy with no sense of leadership? An arrogant You strangle? lie! I have led numberless men into battle, and countless ships and raids across all the known world! You talk of kingship as if it were a matter of counting the notches on your axe. But to lead means so much more. I passed my crown to Harald because he was a man who understood the challenge put before him. Unlike you. You pathetic worm! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? You should have told us of your plan to bend the knee to Harald. And spared me the shame of seeing my father debase himself like a gutted pig. And you are right. I owed you the truth, and for that I am sorry. But I will not apologize for what I did. Then I have nothing left to say to you. My son, please. You have spoken your words and Sigurd has heard them. What happened to my son? Turmoil did he see that took his arm and darkened his mood? He saw his father for what he truly was. A coward who faced his enemies with more honesty than he did his family. I was a father to you, Eivor. I have no father.
This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Spoken no! 